All right, many of you are wondering why you remain bloated and constipated after you have taken antibiotics for SIBO. So, there are actually five reasons that you remain bloated and or constipated after taking antibiotics for SIBO. One, you also may have low stomach acid. Low stomach acid actually causes SIBO. So it's a cause. You can address SIBO and not address low stomach acid. Two, gastritis. Gastritis is caused by SIBO. I would propose low stomach acid and uh, gastritis overlap a ton. So I would, I would guess that there is a connection there as well. But both low stomach acid and gastritis are going to cause really bad bloating. So even if you go in and you address SIBO in the small intestine you are, and you're not addressing low stomach acid and gastritis, you are going to remain bloated. Three, slow motility. Obviously, if you remain constipated, you still have a motility issue. SIBO is a motility problem. You cannot have constipation and still have a motility problem. Uh, SIBO is a dysmotility, and it's in the small intestine. So you can be regular and still have a motility issue. You can, be, you can actually have diarrhea, uh, rapid motility, and still have slow motility of the stomach and stuff. So, so motility is a, is a whole system. It's not just constipation. Uh, four. Candida overgrowth. Candida overgrowth uh, discomforts are almost identical and oftenly confused with, uh, with SIBO. A lot of people call candida overgrowth SIFO, small intestine fungal overgrowth, which is usually candida. Um, in this case, an antibiotic is not going to, t for bacteria, is not going to touch candida, okay? And last, archaea. Archaea, so archaea is not a bacteria. Um, Archaea converts hydrogen to methane, and methane determines the severity of your constipation and bloating. If you take antibiotics uh, and you have an overabundance of archaea, uh, obviously antibiotics are for bacteria, archaea is not a bacteria. Um, you can research it on your own, archaea, A-R-C-H-E-A-E. -E. So archaea is what's causing your really bad constipation and bloating, and antibiotics are not going to touch that. Your protocol for SIBO problems need to start up above the small intestine. It, 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 spot helping the gut does not work well. Sometimes people see our protocols and they go, well, I don't have reflux, or I don't have this, or I don't have that. I'm like, but just start at the top and work down. Going into the middle of your gut and saying, we're just going to hit that. That's it. That's all we're going to help with. It does work in some cases, but most of the time, not so much. And the the chances of it reoccurring because you're not addressing underlying problems behind what caused it, the chances of you having it again are just high. So do it right, do it completely. The protocols help with that. I will have a deep uh, dive video to explain the details of everything else. Thanks.